good morning, or whatever time of day it is that you're getting to enjoy our concert, and welcome. Uh, if we've not had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Stephanie Napa. I am the band director here at Bryan City Schools, and we're going to kick off today's concert with a piece called Affirmation. It is by African American composer William Owens, and it's presented us with a really great piece to work on balance and style. So here is Affirmation. And so it's been a really great rhythm exercise to work on this piece and also to work on style. So this is Buena Vista.
Mr. Rary, Mr. Arnold, and the whole BMS staff for their support and flexibility with taking the students out to record them. Also, a special thank you to Mr. Herman and BMU for meeting us today to record. Lastly, I would like to thank all of the parents and family members of these students on the stage. Your willingness to listen to the at-home practicing and buy the valve oil, buy the wreath, and do all those other little things are really what makes all of this possible. So thank you for sharing your wonderful students with me. Then we'll get back to the music. Our final selection today is Wipeout by the Safaris. And the students were not thrilled about this piece at first because there's all kinds of notes in it that they were not super comfortable with. But as we worked on it, it quickly became their favorite piece. Did it not? Oh, come on. You guys stay here. Yeah, wipe out. <laughs> While working on this piece, we also did an assignment where we got to learn a little bit about the history of surf music, including wipeout. So without further ado, this is wipeout. Concert with a piece called Fire and Fury, uh, which was a really great exercise in working on balance and style and listening and all kinds of great things. So here is Fire and Fury.
piece on today's concert is titled The Bonsai Tree, and it is a, by American composer Julie Giroux. Uh, it was highly influenced by Asian music, and so in learning this piece, we also learned the pentatonic scale that it is centered around, and we also did a little research project on the history of the bonsai tree, so students get to learn about what this piece was uh, written about. Uh, it was also a really great challenge in style and rhythm, uh, some 16th note rhythms that we hadn't worked on before, and so we present the bonsai tree. of legendary ghost dance cult 
that changed the course of Native American history in the 19th century. But in short, it might be helpful to know that the Sioux were being held to their reservations late in the century. This cult of dancing was seen as a way of salvation for many. It involved furious dancing, often lasting for hours, leading to a trance-like state in which it was said that they might have visions of the great buffalo herds to come. Government agents did not understand these dances and feared them. They claimed that they thought that the dances might lead to revolt and violence. It was one excuse the government used trying to explain the senseless slaughter of over 200 unarmed men, women, and children at the infamous massacre at Wounded Knee Creek. So that's a little context about what this piece was written about. Here is the legend of the ghost dance. 